Okay, round nine. Let's take a look at the situation here. USA bought a submarine and 12 infantry. Submarine is an interesting choice. Ah, uh, he's using it to deter this um, sneak attack here. So that shows that he's aware of what I've done. Um, he combated South Africa. You, you're liberating that. Egypt, liberating that as well. So he's trying to push me back in uh, in Africa here. It would be nice to have an uh, artillery or something here on the uh, Rhodesia to be able to counter that, but I don't have it. Then USSR bought five infantry and artillery, repaired his industrial complex, took Bulgaria, Yakut, and Persia. Okay. So Germany is up, um, dealing with a huge multi-nation stack here in Belarus. Um, some lightly defended fleets, but of course I don't have the air to do anything about it. It's interesting. Um, dealing with some damage, but I think I can I can deal with that. This allows me to build seven guys, and uh, then I could just repair two and build two more. So just infantry is good. Um, do want to do some land swaps and beat back some of these forces that are here. And I think I'm going to abandon this sort of stack now that he's doing this. I don't think there's any basis for me having a big stack here. So we will uh, try to do the long swap here. And I think I'm going to send a tank down to Bulgaria because uh, I can. And... Um, he can't really counterpunch there, so that's good. Um, infantry and artillery here. We'll send the fighter. And I think that's four on three, two on one. You know, because this is USSR, I think I might send an extra infantry. Okay, so just the land swaps. Low on planes, but making it work. Got him. No cost there in Ukraine. Bulgaria should be a clean one with the tank present. Assuming I hit him. There we go. And Baltic. This is the one probably where it's a bit contentious, but I might even turn this into a strafe if I, you know, accidentally strafe it. Eh, one for one. We'll keep going. One for one. Looks like the kind of battle it is. All right, so we whittled him down and... Took the took the land for a bare minimum. Okay, so I'm going to keep my planes west. Get my infantry out of here. Do I really need 32 defenders in France? That is a good question. His American transports are a bit far back right now. So there's not a significant threat there. He's got four here, four British here. That's eight. Means he can bring like 16 guys anywhere. So really I'm not worried about um, France at all. Um, I am dealing with tanks here in um, Belarus, so these Poland guys are going to uh, pull right back but leave one so I don't get, um, you know, he doesn't get the free uh, blitz there. I don't think I have the spare troops to sort of make a big stack here and challenge this right now, so I'm going to leave that not done. And we'll just end it there. It's always simple when you're uh, poor. Surrounded. So I still like my position, but I really don't like this attack power deficit. Um, Germany's a bit pressed for income right now, and the J Japanese need to make it up. So 84 is not enough to kind of overtake them. I need to get a little more than that. I need to be swapping more land. Um, interestingly, uh, looking at USSR, I think he has reinforced Kazakh a little bit. Um, yeah, so he brought in nine new guys to Kazakh, and he's now have five allied planes there as well. But of course, I'm not looking to hit Kazakh, because of course, um, the advantage of the Chinese route is that you've got multiple lands, so what I can do ultimately is move into Xinjiang, and that's what I'm going to be thinking about is Japan, is can I move into Xinjiang? And looking at this force, very heavy in infantry, um, with a multi-nation defense, he's not going to be able to stop me from moving here. And then if he wants me to not move into Novo, he's going to have to retreat. Um... So then if he doesn't, of course, I move into Novo, and then from there I'm, I'm land-swapping all this territory, and he has to abandon Kazakh to defend Moscow. So he's going to need more artillery than this to hold me back. 
All right, Japan's turn, round nine. Let's take a look at the UK move. He bought seven infantry. He had bombing raided me again. Northwest Baltic, Poland. Nice losses for him there in Poland, Ukraine. Yeah, okay. Mobilization, just seven infantry in UK. Okay. So for Japan, what I want to think about is, of course, can I attack this? He's got 36 and... 9 is 45. Guys, I think what I was going to do was I wanted to move up here into uh, Xinjiang. Threaten more territories. Expand my trading. That's definitely it. I definitely need to take Persia because this is too much of a threat. And I need to think about what I'm going to do about this down at the bottom. Um, I do have some planes up here. 1, 2, 3, 4. I only have 3. One, two, three, four. He's kind of well defended enough to stop me attacking either fleet just now. Um, what's nice is he hasn't even traded Sinkyang, so I could just land my planes there, so it's super easy to, to defend and hold. He's countered this. Um, I'd like to build a balance of infantry and artillery, I think, this turn. Something like that. Um, it's probably a bit overkill. You know, I could do like, uh, hmm, do I want to build any other, like, ships, serious ships or anything? No, I'd like to build a fighter is what I'd like to build. So what if I had it like that? Is that uh, 13, what is 14, 16, eight? yeah, that's nice, a fighter and mostly land. Okay. I'm going to keep the Air Force going for now. Now, the question is, do I have any planes that can reach down to here and join this battle? And the answer is no. Um, what can I do with this bomber? Pretty much nothing useful. Um, I could attack one of these territories and then uh, land in Sinking afterward. Could attack both of them, even. Then this bomber can go here. The tank's going to come to Sinkang, because he can. Um, and I don't think I'm actually going to attack this territory, because uh, uh, Novo, because uh, that would require sending a second infantry there, which I'm not prepared to do. I want to take out the north. Um, there's this. Could actually cancel one guy and send him to Persia. I can also send the entire uh, fighter stack to Persia. And then they can still land in Sinkang next turn, so that's pretty easy. Um, this fleet is not in danger to attack here. Like, if I were to, uh, to do something like this... Am I in range of, like, a huge plane stack here? Yeah, he's got five British fighters. Which means if I have the battleship, two carriers, and a destroyer, that's five. If I bring, like, a fighter, I'm safe. Got this guy. There's a couple things I could do. These guys could land here. I kind of like the idea of taking this because he's alone, he's an artillery, he's next to other territories that I could capture. Okay. Meanwhile, we are taking New Zealand. Hawaii will be a future project. Although I do have the bomber now, so if I took it now, I could bring the bomber. And then later the bomber could give up and I could finish off um, New Zealand with just uh, a mop-up situation. nice thing about bringing the battleship in here is it kind of makes me immune against the sub too and forces him to again defend this, so I kind of like that. Okay, well that'll do for battles. Nice clean capture on Egypt. Please don't hit my battle, my bomber with your AA gun. That's all I have to say. Yes. This should be straightforward then. Four infantry and a bomber. Huh. Bomber didn't do even, even do any of the work, I don't think. Even got the capture on a Venki. One inf. Always happy for those little lucky rolls when you get them those territories without having to pay. One loss on Persia. 
Okay, it is time for... Sinking. Sure, transport. Yeah, because I've only got three here and I've got two at Hawaii, but that's okay. You can catch up later. Oh, I've got this guy. He's, he's not busy right now. I was going to do something with fighters here. Um, let's drop two on the uh, carrier. These guys are going to go to Paris, give myself more range. All right, I like it. One VC away from a win now as well with the um, uh, Hawaii capture. Basically, Corellia is the missing piece, um, which I have no, no danger of taking anytime soon. Well, theoretically, if I had like a tank and a Venki and he left it undefended, I could sneak in or something like that. But the Americans have a force which could recapture in all those scenarios. So it's maybe not much. Okay, back to you, Charmander.